The weather returning to the state of Texas over the next several days is, I record this video in an airport lounge. What is the worst that could possibly happen? Let's find out in this Tuesday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. <laughs> Good morning, good day. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. It is October 21st, 2025, the Tuesday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. As I sit in an airport, flight got in 30 minutes early, which means I have longer time between connections, which means let's try to crank a video out and let's see what could possibly go wrong. If we get screaming children, that's probably my fault. Let's just get into it. Here's the high res rapid refresh model for today, tonight, into Wednesday. Now today... We're going to have another weak cool front that'll have pushed south across the northern two-thirds of Texas, bringing some northerly winds, gusty north winds at times. Going into tonight, a lot of cloud cover going to increase across the state, and that'll continue into Wednesday. A few showers possible, but we are expecting today and tomorrow to be mostly dry across the state of Texas. You can see on Thursday, we do start to see an increase in precipitation chances, but more about that in just a moment. Here's the wildfire outlook the next few days. We do have very high fire danger across a decent chunk of the state today, so please be mindful of that, especially as we have another dry air mass filter in northern two-thirds of the state with gusty north winds. Still pretty warm temperatures for late October. Grasses are dry, so it won't take much to get a fire started. Tomorrow and Thursday, as this line suddenly becomes louder than I'd like it to be, we have fire danger increasing across, well, most of the state. And then on Thursday, things do calm down a bit as we see an uptick in moisture and precipitation chances. Here is a look at the upper level jet stream over the next few days. We are going to have one storm system coming here on Thursday and Friday. Behind that, you can see we kind of remained active, a bit of a system remaining overhead this weekend. And then if this model is right, in about a week, we're going to have one doozy of a system kick on in. All of that is to say we're in an active weather pattern now. The area of high pressure that kept us dry for the last month is gone. Bye bye And with that, we're now going to get to track multiple opportunities for showers and thunderstorms. Speaking of which, severe weather outlook for Thursday afternoon and evening, highlighting the potential for isolated severe thunderstorms. The panhandle of Texas coming off the Cap Rock in the northwest Texas and west Texas. Looking like we may have a few high base supercells with large hail and damaging winds possible. The wind profiles look pretty impressive, but we're not looking at a lot of instability with this, which means threat is uncertain at this time. But if data ramps up the amount of instability we have, threat of severe weather will increase. We're keeping an eye on it carefully. Let's take a look. Here's the simulate weather radar, and you can see it does have storms. Thursday afternoon into evening across the Panhandle. Big old cluster of storms moving across the state. Friday and Saturday, eastern two-thirds of Texas, you could see it lollygags around, dropping a decent amount of beneficial rain. Things calm down going into Sunday and Monday, if this is correct. But uh, clear and present indications are Thursday starts off in the Panhandle, West Texas, and then going into Friday and Saturday, we get plenty of rain. Eastern half of the state, at least, with scattered to perhaps numerous showers and thunderstorms, and some of those may be strong with a risk of hail and damaging winds, along with heavy rain that could cause maybe some isolated flooding issues. Clearly, it's been drying a popcorn fart lately, but still, if we get two to three inches of rain in an urban area in the span of a few hours, that's enough to cause street flooding and some rises on creeks and streams. Forecast rain totals on the Weather Prediction Center taking us through 7 a.m. Sunday. You can see a pretty colorful map now. We're looking at one to two inches of rain possible. Eastern half of the state. Uh, North Texas, Central Texas, the Brazos Valley, the Arklatex, East Texas, Southeast Texas, the Golden Triangle. One to two inches, maybe even over three inches of rain possible. In some of those locations, uh, we're looking at one quarter to one half inch of rain possible, maybe more than that. Hill Country, Big Country, Concho Valley at Northern Edwards Plateau, Northwest Texas, even some rain back into the Eastern Big Bend. So we'll have to keep an eye out, but definitely beneficial rain is on the way, which for the eastern third to the eastern half of Texas by this weekend would end our fire weather concerns until we get dry again. But uh, this would definitely be helpful in that regard. Temperatures the next few days today. 
We're looking at 70s and 80s, northern two-thirds of Texas, cooler than yesterday, southern third of the state, still 90s, with near 100 degree temperatures in Laredo and McAllen. Tomorrow, we're looking at mostly 70s and 80s across Texas during the afternoon, low to mid-90s Rio Grande Plains. On Thursday, the upper 80s to near 90s return hill country, big country, into the Permian Basin, Concho Valley. On Friday, we see temperatures dropping back a bit with our next cool front moving into the Panhandle, West Texas. And then on Saturday, highs 60, 70, northern 75% of Texas with 80s and 90s, southern quarter to the southern third of the state with, again, rain chances possibly being pretty decent across the eastern half to the eastern two-thirds of Texas. No big cold fronts expected over the next 10 days. Yes, we are going to have cool fronts at times with cooler air, but we're not looking at any major Arctic outbreaks yet that would bring, you know, a widespread freeze to the state or anything, you know, below average or freaky like that. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on the panhandle some of these nights this upcoming week for frost, maybe localized freezes, but still not looking likely across the rest of the state. At this point, that is it for your Tuesday morning edition of the Texas Weather App. We'll keep an eye on things, and hopefully the audio turned out well for this. I'm thankful that uh, we didn't have any screaming kids arrive for this recording. That being said, there's a large group of people now entering this region, so we're going to wrap this up before things get too rowdy. As always, you can get your local weather forecast, interactive weather radar, daily tech weather roundups and more in the free texas storm chasers mobile app to search your texas storm chasers or you download apps to your device and if you appreciate me cranking out the money it cost again to this lounge this morning so i could bring you a video hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe and we'll have more weather information as we get through the week into a more active pattern y'all have an amazing tuesday enjoy the nice weather and god bless